Hello everyone, welcome back to another banger video. Today, we're going to be doing financial analysis in Python using pandas and numpy. So yep, let's hop right into it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is load our financial data set. So an easy way to load files onto Google Colab is just to do from google.colab, import files, uploaded equals files to upload. It'll give you this little prompt here to upload a file. If you're on the desktop version of Python or Jupyter Notebook, um, all you have to do is just keep your CSV file with your stock prices in the same folder as the file you're working in. Now, you can find the CSV file on basically any financial data or any financial website that offers data sets. I use the Wall Street Journal for this one. You can type in any stock you want, click um, edit your time frame to however long you want. I just do two or three years, but you can do five, ten if you want. And then download it, uh, it will download as an Excel file. So from Excel, you're gonna have to export it as a CSV file before you can start using it. All right, then we can also import our libraries. All right, so this pd.read CSV just gives us the first five um, cells of the CSV file we imported. So we use pandas to load our data and then just print out the first few rows, rows using the head function. So now that we have our data, let's get into the what we're actually going to be doing today, which is analyzing it. For this, we'll make use of both pandas and numpy. We'll start by calculating the average closing price for the stock and we'll do this using the pandas mean function. This code takes the close column of our data frame, which represents the closing prices and calculates the average. All right, so if you run into an error like this, uh, one thing I realized is that when um, you download these CSV files from Wall Street Journal, they actually have a small space before close and a few of the other headers, except for date for some reason. So one thing you could do is go into Excel and edit the CSV file, or you can just add a space here and it should work now. So the Average closing price for SPY has been 415 for the past uh, year and a half. All right, so now let's calculate the price volatility, which is the standard deviation of the price. Here, we'll use NumPy's STD function. All right, so here we've calculated the standard deviation of the closing prices, which represents the price volatility. Python's pandas and numpy libraries can be combined to provide a powerful toolkit for financial data analysis. These were just some basic examples. With these tools, you can perform a wide range of analysis from trend analysis to complex financial modeling, discounted cash flow modeling, options pricing, anything. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed or found it helpful, drop a like down below, drop a comment in the comment section, and we'll catch you in the next one.